I remember LeBron James saying that he was chasing Michael Jordan's ghost. He wanted to be considered the greatest of all time. Which I think is douchebaggery. I think it's, that's the douche move for LeBron to say. I think that's a douchebaggery thing to say. I mean, of course, everybody wants to be great. Everybody wants to be the best player in the world. But to think, I mean... There is no greatest player of all time, man. It's only people's opinion. It's an argument. If James would have said, I want to be in the argument of the greatest player of all time, you know, I can understand that. But to say, I'm chasing Michael Jordan. To say that Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time, is, it's a fucking opinion, LeBron. I mean, statistically, you can point out, anybody can argue that LeBron is better than Jordan already. You know, you you can, and I don't have, I'm not going to look up the fucking stats and to statistics and everything. But you can compare their careers and you can point to where LeBron is better than Jordan. Better in this aspect, better in that aspect. Better in the IQ aspect, better better overall player, a better team player, stronger. Um, you can argue. There there there's some good points to make that LeBron is better is a better player than Jordan. And there's arguments you can make that Le, more Jordan is better than LeBron. They both have their arguments. Like you can say Jordan was a better scorer, is a better scorer than LeBron. Just like Pippen said, Jordan is a better scorer, but LeBron is a better player. Even P- fucking Pippen said that. And that may be true, man. I I I I'm gonna give it I, I can give it up. I can say LeBron probably is a better overall player than Jordan. Jordan but you have but you got also have to say I also say this, Jordan is a better one-on-one player. Jordan would kill him in a one-on-one game. Jordan has better skills than LeBron. Jordan is a more skillful player than LeBron. Jordan is a better shooter than LeBron. Um, But you can say LeBron has a better IQ for the game. But It's unfair to even compare these because LeBron learned everything from Jordan, so he should be fucking better. He came after Jordan, so he you learn it from somebody you came after. So you you learned all his secrets, you learned all his moves, so you should be, and you put them in your repertoire, so you should be fucking better because you learned from the master. So you should be fucking better, man. The master is old. The master is past. It's the past. You can take from the master and add more to your game. To your attributes. But LeBron says he wants to be considered the greatest of all. He wants to be the greatest of all time. There ain't no fucking greatest of all time. What he really wants, he wants to be the media's fucking darling. He wants the media to say that he's the greatest of all time. That ain't going to happen, bro. Even Jordan knew better than that. LeBron needs to fucking humble himself. Jordan don't go around saying, Jordan never, never, never did say he was the greatest of all time. Jordan never did say that he was chasing Wilt Chamberlain's legacy or he was chasing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It wasn't no greatest player of all time when Jordan was playing. It wasn't nobody to chase. Jordan was just being himself. Mag- I think Magic Johnson the one that first started that shit with Jordan's the greatest of all time. Started saying that shit. But you got to understand. The NBA was looking for a fucking superstar 
back when Jordan was playing. They didn't have any great superstars. They had Magic. He was fading out. They had Bird. He was fading out. These guys was fading out. The NBA was looking for that next big thing. And they found it in Jordan. And that's why he carried the NBA the whole time he played. And that's why they crowned him and gave him all these fucking hoorahs and appraisals and all that shit because the NBA really needed a Jordan. It was a perfect fit at the perfect time. There was no other player like Jordan in the league. Now we got a we got a multiple players. We we got multiple Jordans now in the league today. Back then we only had one Jordan. We today we have multiple Jordans. Multiple skillful players. You know? They're Jordans in their own right. I mean, they're little mini Jordans in their own right. They're multiple exciting and skillful players. And they all learn from that Jordan University. Kobe, Westbrook, um, Curry, Harden, Durant. All these little guards showing their ass. All these high scoring guards. They all took from, they all took a part of Jordan's game. A little bit of Jordan's game. We have more athleticism in the league today. They're more faster. A lot of them, uh, they 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 have better moves now. They 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 they're more skillful now. A lot of them are skillful. I'm talking about the guards. A lot of them are more skillful than they was in the past when Jordan was playing. You know, have a lot of skilled guards now because they learn. They supposed to be more skilled. They fucking learn from the master, man. You supposed to get better. The future is supposed to be better anyway. But LeBron talking about he chasing the greatest of all. It's fucking. It's 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 it's, it's you know. It's just a wannabe. I he look he I look at him as a wannabe man. He's thirsty. He wants that appraisal. He wants that respect. Man, look, the media is not ready to give you that crown, LeBron. Jordan gets that crown because Jordan resisted. Jordan resisted and they want to give it to him more. Like I said, Jordan came at a time when they needed a big major superstar. He came at the right time in the perfect moment. He came, he was the perfect player. And if you look at Jordan, you see he's just the perfect ideal basketball player. I mean, every move he made was fucking beautiful. Ballerina in the air. He had some of the, he had the greatest fucking layups I've ever seen. 360 layup in the air. Jump on one side of the hoop and on the other side, land on the other side, land it up. Beautiful. The man was poetry in motion. The man was graceful, graceful in the air. Beautiful. Never seen anything like it since. But he captured the world's imagination during that time. The NBA, he was the NBA's leader in his era. Captured the whole world. He was like magic in his era. He was magical in his era. And they deemed him that because they never seen anything so spectacular and so awesome. Because no other player was doing like Jordan was doing. No other player was doing. No no other player was bringing that excitement. No other player was bringing that hunger and excitement, and was being that skilled and that and and and, and, that, and having that much energy in the NBA. And during that time, he was ahead of his time. He was a player of today. Back then. That's who Jordan was, and it took other player, other t- it took legends to call him the greatest of all time. Legends called Jordan the greatest. Ain't no legends calling LeBron James the greatest of all time. Magic ain't calling LeBron James the greatest of all time. Nobody's no big major legendary player is declaring LeBron James the greatest of all time. 
You see, but they did that for Michael Jordan. Larry Bird did that. Magic Johnson did that. And the league, re really, the league, man, Magic Johnson was the NBA's baby back then. So the NBA uh, respected what Magic had to say. And Magic said, that man right there is a bad motherfucker. He the greatest player I've ever seen in my fucking life. And I've seen them all. That's what Magic said. So LeBron chasing his ghost never going to catch it. You just put up more resistance. Like I said, Michael didn't even like that title that was bestowed upon him as the greatest of all time. Michael said that shit was unfair. Michael said, no, you can't. That's not fair to call me the greatest of all time because I didn't play in these other players' era. Michael respects the game. Michael respects legendary players of the past. He finds it disrespectful to the players of the past to say I'm the greatest of all time. But LeBron, in his ego, wants to flaunt his ego is he has bought into this King James persona. He has bought into his own hype. He believes in his own hype. And he thinks he has to be, he has to chase the greatest of all time legacy. He ain't no greatest of all time legacy. You chase, you are, you are chasing the ghost because it's a fake legacy. That's just opinionated. So what he really wants, he wants the fucking media. He wants Stephen A. Smith. He wants all these journalists. He wants all these reporters. You know. He wants the mantra of everybody telling him, of everybody declaring him, of everybody saying that. That player right there, LeBron... That's the greatest player I've ever seen in my life. That's the greatest of all time right there. They're not ready to give you that, LeBron. It's too soon. Jordan just left the fucking league. they not crowning you the greatest of all time, buddy. buddy. You're making yourself look like an asshole. Chasing Michael Jordan. I don't care if you win eight rings. The mo most of the media is not going to give you that greatest of all time. They're not going to give you that. They're still going to give it to Jordan. Some other media probably will. It will be in the scut. It will be heated. It will be in the debates. But it's not going to be um, the overall ideal. opinion or the overall is not going to be the overall ideal mindset that this guy has replaced has uh, trumped Jordan they're not ready to give that up they're not ready to get ready to give Jordan up Jordan is a part of their childhood Jordan, Jordan is a part of their of their some of their greatest memories of, of, of something special within them Jordan is a part of their nostalgia Jordan is a part of their childhood uh, and they puts a smile on their face when they think of Jordan these guys they, they, these media personalities are not ready to crown you LeBron that greatest of all time title man So stop, stop it. You need to be you need to humble yourself. And you need to be LeBron. Be the greatest you can be. Stop chasing fucking waterfalls. As TLC would say.
you know, and, and it's almost like it's something personal, like he has something personal against Jordan. I mean, it's like he's calling him out for some for some reason. Cause, I'm, cause you know, the way he 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 he's bold with it now. I'm chasing Jordan. Fuck out of here, man. People don't love you like they love Jordan. People don't love you like they love Jordan, man. You ain't getting the sales. You ain't getting the shoe sales. You're not getting the shoe sales Jordan had. Your shoes will never be bigger than Jordan's. The Jordan brand and everything like that. Jordan was a living legend in his own time. You ain't there, man. You're a great player. But you ain't on that legendary level. You playing in an era where they had Kobe Bryant, they had the heir apparent, they had Kobe Bryant, the next big thing next to Jordan. You you playing in the era after Kobe Bryant. NBA is not in need of a major big superstar anymore. They're not desperate for that. They got multiple superstars. They're not hungry for a major superstar. When Jordan was playing, when Jordan first came, they was hungry for a major super. They was hungry for that legendary player. They was hungry for that exciting player, and they got it in Jordan. The league, the the era you in, they not as hungry. They still filled up from Jordan. They still filled up from Kobe. And you fall up under that. You know? So... NBA is not uh, you, you just You're not in that era to be considered the greatest of all time and So man I, I just think it's something Maybe I think it's something he has personal Against Jordan for some reason um, Sometimes when you grow up idolizing your heroes And you finally meet them They not what you thought they would be and I think somewhere down the line he found out he don't like Jordan he didn't like Jordan no more he found out Jordan was a, a human being after all Jordan had a lot of flaws maybe he found out maybe he don't like Jordan maybe it's something in Jordan's personality maybe Jordan said something wrong to him maybe Jordan was rude to him or something Uh, because you don't see them being but you don't see Jordan saying anything great about LeBron. He he was Jordan was like supporting Kobe. Jordan was giving Kobe compliments and all and everything like that. But you don't hardly see Jordan saying compliment complimenting LeBron on anything. So maybe it's something there and maybe LeBron is kinda of bitter and maybe that's why he's doing this. But He's fighting a losing battle, man. The people are not ready to crown you the greatest of all time. You can forget about that. You know, you ain't winning no eight titles. You probably will get six, but you ain't winning no seven. You ain't winning no eight. I doubt it. Even if you do, people are not going to... People are going to say, oh, he went to Miami. He went to another team. You know, they're going to have excuses. And it's going to be certain people that say, yeah, he's better than Jordan. He is the greatest player of all time. So it's all opinionated, man. You're chasing that bull. It's a bullshit opinionated title that Jordan even don't, don't even want that shit. So fuck out of here with that, man. You just want the media to kiss, kiss up to you. But they'll never kiss up to you like they kiss up to Jordan, man. Half the media don't even respect you, for real. So that's it.